Hello, Young Life leaders. Pete Hardesty here, Young Life College. You might be wondering how I'm speaking without moving my lips. I'm not a ventriloquist. Uh, sorry. And also, I have a very bright sweatshirt on. It's not a tennis ball. Just wanted to uh, share a little bit of what I've been learning out of Colossians 1. And uh, towards the end of the chapter, Paul says that he that God gave Paul to present to the Colossians the word of God in its fullness. A little earlier, it says that uh, God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in Jesus. This is an amazing, amazing truth. It says, uh, the word of God in all its fullness, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but now has been disclosed. And God uh, chosen to make known among the entire world, this incredible mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. That Christ lives within us. I, I've been reflecting on this reality uh, this last week, and I have I was almost uh, taken my breath away a couple times. That the, the one who spun out the stars actually lives in our heart. I forget that a lot. And then this is a very important next verse. It says, we proclaim him, Jesus. And there's so much stuff swirling around uh, in our world right now. We need to remember to proclaim Jesus. And we'll admonish and teach everyone with all wisdom so that we can present everyone perfect in Christ. If you're working with middle school kids or high school kids or college kids, we want to present everyone perfect in Jesus. That's, that's our goal. It says, to this end I labor. Paul says, struggling with all of his energy, all of God's energy. And it's a pretty big store of energy. There's a lot there, right? He just, he didn't even have to flex his muscles. He barely, with a sideways glance, he spun out everything we see in the entire universe. And we labor, we struggle with all of his energy, which so powerfully works in you. And so my hope, my encouragement is that we would live working, allowing his energy to bubble up inside of us, that we would know how much we are loved by him, that we would live loved and enjoy this wondrous mystery of Christ in you, the hope of glory. Thanks and have a great day.